if you ask any child in the United States or any place in the world that, and you mention the word Egypt, they will say pyramids. They will talk about the secrets of the Sphinx. Ah, Tutankhamun. The mission of the American Research Center in Egypt goes much further. For 70 years, RC has been working for the protection and conservation of Egyptian heritage sites and monuments. Whether it's an environmental threat, whether it's rising groundwater, and that's what the American Research Center really is all about, is looking at different ways to approach these problems. And I think it's only through collaboration with our research supporting members, with Egyptian authorities, that we can all work together to confront these problems and protect Egypt's heritage. Edward Forbes, Abdesalam Hussein, Joseph and Corinna Smith, and other early advocates paved a path for Americans and Egyptian experts to study and preserve Egyptian culture and history from the pharaonic period to more recent times. The American Research Center in Egypt was founded in 1948 after the Second World War and they had the vision of establishing this research center to bring American and Egyptian scholars together. Archaeologist Mark Lehner has worked at the Giza Plateau for more than 40 years. The American Research Center adopted me, took me under their wing to do the, the mapping of the, of the Great Sphinx, which had never properly been mapped. Through their Antiquities Endowment Fund, we have trained a whole generation, some 350 young archaeologists working for the Ministry of Antiquities. The Brooklyn Museum and Johns Hopkins University both have projects at the precinct of the Goddess Mut in South Karnak. I've been there for 17 years. Richard Fazzini's been there for 40 something years. And I never know what it is I'm going to find. RC helped the Brooklyn Museum and Johns Hopkins University teams prepare the site for the public. RC has helped make the site something that is meaningful to all sorts of people, and they include a lot of Egyptians. With funding from the U.S. Agency for International Development, RC has awarded more than $5 million in grants to nearly 130 projects. I would like just to thank really the ARC for, uh, for this wonderful achievement and wonderful work since the last 70 years. And we hope that we will have more and more collaboration uh, in protecting the heritage of Egypt. You were talking about this area. Egypt's ancient sites may be made of stone, but after thousands of years, they are at risk. And the ancient Egyptians assumed they would be eternal. They're very fragile, and there's decay that's happening all the time due to changing environmental conditions. Kent Weeks has been working in the Valley of the Kings for 35 years. When I first came to Luxor, there did not exist an accurate map of the monuments at Thebes. And we thought, well, if we can't locate the monuments, we can't very well protect them. To solve the problem, Kent Weeks created the Theban Mapping Project to document the location and condition of the tombs. We've had funding to do photographs of the wall surfaces of the tombs in the Valley of the Kings, not just to record the decoration, but to use the photographs as part of a site evaluation, condition evaluation of the tombs. Many of today's leaders in Egyptology started out as R.C. Fellows, a program that began in the 1960s. I was a fellow for the American Research Center in Egypt in 1984. You're not just part of someone else's excavation. It actually opened up quite a few different areas that I've pursued academically over the years. Experts like Salima Ikram grew up collaborating with RC. RC has been a major part of my life since I was an undergraduate. I came to AUC, the American University in Cairo, for a year abroad, and I was told immediately to take myself off to RC, and I did. And since that time, I have always been, my life has been inextricably linked with that of RC. This is the ancient plastics. The American Research Center in Egypt is the home 
for people who work in Egypt, and uh, we can't really operate very effectively without it. How do I get a hold of an x-ray machine? What do I do to, you know, inexpensively get my team out to some crazy place in the middle of the desert? One of the people at the Cairo Center, Madame Amira Khattab, made an enormous contribution behind the scenes for decades. She did more for RC than anyone else alive. Everyone at the Antiquities Ministry just loved her like their mother, and we love her like our sister. As RC celebrates 70 years, the focus now is on the future. I'd like to see RC encourage work for American students and Egyptian students together, to work together in sites, to exchange ideas, to understand each other, because this will be the new generation that eventually will take over RC you know, many years from now. Site management is growing in importance because the numbers of people returning to Egypt are growing, and tourism is very, very definitely on the rise. <laughs> what, would, what could RC do in the next 70 years? I think the simple answer is keep up the good work.